Hello and welcome to a video which will show you how you can either download or print your membership card from the U3A web system. We are on a test system here so the buttons may look slightly different to what uh, your screen actually shows but the basic functionality is the same and the buttons will be of a similar kind. So the first thing you need to do is go to your U3A web system and you need to log in as yourself. So you click on login on the top gold toolbar. Once you log in, a pop-up screen asks you for your membership number and password. If you haven't already got a password, you can click on forgotten password and do a reset. There is another video available on the YouTube channel uh, where you can see how to change or get a new password. So in this case, we're gonna log on as member number 8151. So I'll select that and I've already got the password pre-selected, so I log in. The system goes away and it will come back with the members section of the U3A web. And you will see that you get a, a larger um, left-hand menu. This is quite large because it's one of the system admins. So your buttons will show somewhere. It will either show my information or my detail in the left-hand menu. So once you've got your membership agreed and you've either renewed or joined, you can click on My Detail. And one of the options, if your U3A has enabled it, will be Print Membership Card. So you click on Print Membership Card and the system goes away and after a few seconds, uh, your PC may do some uh, various checks to make sure it's not got a virus in it, but your PC will come back with your membership card in a PDF format. So this means it's able to be printed. And you can see here that it tells you which U3A you belong to, that it's a membership card for the year, and your name and your membership number, and when this card was issued. Now the issue date is in actual fact the date when you pull this up to print it. So once you've got that there, you can go to the top of your PC screen, and you've got a couple of buttons up the top here in the top right hand corner. The one I'm pointing at at the moment is to actually download that file. So you may want to download it and use it later on. Or you may want to download it so that you can transfer the PDF file to a mobile device, which we'll go through in the second half of this uh, video. But let's assume that you just want to print out your membership card on a piece of paper and you've got a printer hooked up to your PC. You go to the print icon in the very top right hand corner and you click on there and your PC will go away and it will load a preview of what you're going to print and you can see the preview there is slightly off the screen but uh, you get the general idea and it will ask you uh, the destination and at the moment we've got this set up as save as PDF so if you click on that down arrow and you can select your printer so you click on your printer and your printer comes up in the destination box it says pages well there is only one page so all will do the job and you probably only want one copy and you can either print in color or you could if you wanted to print in black and white there is color on there because the U3A logo is actually on there as well so if you printed it in color you get the U3A logo in a pretty yellow and blue but if you print in black if you select black and white in that box there it will print out in black and then down the bottom you just click on print and the system will go away and make sure you've got your printer turned on of course the system will go away and it will print your membership card which you can then cut out of your A4 piece of uh, paper and you can put it in your wallet or your purse and carry it around. You may want to laminate it. Some U3As ask that you put your emergency, just write your emergency contact details on the back of the card. Uh, so if you want it on the back of the piece of paper. So if you did that and then you wanted to give it a bit more solidity, if you've got a laminating machine, you may want to laminate it or encase it in plastic in some way just to give it a bit of substance. Okay, so that's the end of this first part of the uh, video showing you how to print your membership card. And the second part will be how you can download it onto a mobile device, so a tablet or a smartphone. So we'll kick over to that in a second. So, we have now moved on to the second part of this video where I will show you how you can download your membership card onto a portable device, either a 
smartphone or perhaps a tablet. I suspect that most uh, who have got a smartphone take them along to their group meetings. So you could uh, download your membership card onto your smartphone and just show that to the group leader if needed. Now, this is being done on an Android device, but it will be similar for Apple devices as well. The icons and things may be in a slightly different position. However, the basic premise is the same on any device. What you could do, however, is you could possibly use a PC, a laptop or a desktop and download the membership card onto that initially and then transfer it onto your portable device using a USB cable and uh, joining the two together and just transferring the file across. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll show you uh, how to do the initial stages. And as you can see here, we've got a Google icon on the left hand side, the second one down. And you can tap on the Google icon, which will go away and open up a Google search engine. Now from here, you could put in your U3A website address if you wanted to. So www.whatever. Or alternatively, you can use Google to search for your U3A's website address. So in this case, I will search for Peterborough and hit the go button. And there you can see Peterborough comes up as the first uh, one in question. So we tap on there and the system goes away and it finds the U3A. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. However, as we're going to be using the test uh, system for showing you how to do things, I've got the test system uh, for the U3A web actually bookmarked on my desktop. So I will click on there and we go away and we end up with the test system that we show you how to do things in. So you may need to use your two fingers to expand it a little bit if it's a bit on the small side. So you put your two fingers on the screen and part the two fingers as it were and you click on login you'll then be presented with the screen that you can log in with and we've already got the membership number that we're using 8151 in that first box i'll make it a little larger and i've actually got the password for this logged in my phone so you would fill in the password and click on login The system goes away and we're now logged into the set test system. I'll expand the screen out a little bit. You can see here that we're signed in for somebody called Alan Vichair. So if we come across to the left menu and click on my detail. And one of your options will be, so long as your U3A has enabled it, it will be print membership card. So I'll tap on print membership card. And the system asks me whether I want to download it. So I click on yes, OK, download it. And the system goes away and eventually it will come back with a PDF file, which is your membership card. I'll expand that slightly and you can see there it is there. It's got your membership number, etc. on it. So if I now click on the three little dots in the top right hand corner and I've got the option to download. So I click on download and it says down the bottom downloaded my membership card. It's saying version three because I've done this before. OK, so now I need to quit from that particular screen and go back to my uh, my device's desktop and I need to find out where it stores files. So if you click on perhaps the nine little dots and it will give you the option to find all of your apps that you've got and you click on my files or something similar depending on your device, of course. In this case, I can go to download history. So I click on download history and there we've, we've actually got two uh, versions of this. So I click on my membership and you'll get the option of opening up as a PDF. You might have different uh, apps that you can open up. But in this case, I've got one called Drive PDF Viewer and I'll select that. And there we have your membership card. So your membership card is now on your device. So anytime that you need to go to it, uh, you can find the membership card and show it there. So I'll show you one more time how you find it from scratch. So we'll close all of the apps down. And from here on in, I don't need to be connected to the internet anymore. I click on my nine little dots. I go to my files 
and I go to wherever it's stored. You may have moved it to documents, but mine's still sitting in download history. So I click on there and the group leader says, show me your card. So you do what I'm doing now. And there it is. You take your screen and you turn your device, your smartphone or whatever around to the uh, group leader. And you say, there you go. There is my membership card for whatever year it happens to be. So you can have your membership card on your smartphone and take that around with you instead of having a physical piece of paper okay so that's the end of the video i hope this has been useful for you thanks very much and bye bye